What's good with y'all good people? Today's my first video. The purpose of my channel is to highlight where to find the steals and deals in Austin, Texas. This is just a preview. I will be going back to each of these stores and more to create a video for each one. Stay tuned. Had to take that trailblazer to the domain. Boy, Captain it's Jody up there. It's your boy. Captain. It's your boy. State Captain. City Captain. One of the cool parts about kicking the ATX is they are dog friendly and there is a full service bar in the back. So if you're 21 or older, you can be served alcohol. They did even have Slim Thug's version of beer exclusive Houston collab and they served my dog up some water. Cash it out, man. Damn. <laughs> out there making purchases. Where? $1.30 for it. God. No, $1.30 for the rest of the throwbacks. Something like right, man. I get that chick for that. No, it is. Jody Marlin out there, that panda. Taking two moves. You know how it is. Premium. Can't get that regular. And shout out Revive Austin, dog. The boys in there had to get a bark. Got me right to this bark. Yeah, this is Private Stock ATX, uh, super dope store. This is where John cashed out, bought all his vape teas and his Yeezys, all for retailer better because it was tax-free weekend. Once again, super cool store. Uh, only reason I don't have audio is because they had a lot of copyrighted music going on. I got you. Yeah. I'm waiting for you now. Hey, man. Say, man. Back at you again today, man. Live with some cops from Tax Free Weekend. Best to talk about what we got. I got like eight pairs of shoes. I think maybe nine. I don't know. What did you get, John? I uh, got a pair of shoes, some Yeezys. Got a few t shirts, and I got some slides. Always got to have some slides, man. You know, it's slide season. Slide season. Shout out Shark Puppet. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get right into it. So I guess uh, one of the first things, obviously, this play that I got with the champion jersey line of shirts. That's about all I really got. Let me talk about those shirts you got. You got a few. Shoot, I'm all about my back, man. I got got a few shirts. Got about six shirts. Don't really know the names of them, but I wear them. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, we'll be better uh, at those names. Here soon. Yeah, soon. about retail, uh, 90 or 100. I think I paid one, 120 for them out the door. Not too bad. It's your private stock downtown Austin, Texas. Shout out private stock. Man, you just gotta have that bait. Gotta yeah. have that bait. Should've got more Others. footage in there. Uh, they brought out all the shirts for my boy. They threw them, they threw them on me, man. <laughs> Excel, they brought them out, they brought them out on me, man. They got them down at your private stock. For sure, for sure. I got some 720s from Kicking It ATX, man. They had this promotion for the uh, tax-free weekend where every pair of shoes, if it wasn't $100, is now $100. So a few pair of these shoes being retail $170, $180, $190, got them all for 100 out the door. So, you know, I had to go check that out. Uh, let's see what these are. These are those Black Mesh 720s, triple black. Uh, I never had 720s up until this point, so had to check them out, get a pair, an everyday pair. Still dead stock, uh, haven't rocked any of these yet, but definitely will soon. Just wanted to have them clean for the video. This is a pair that was even less, actually. It was 40 bucks. Uh, my mom needed a pair of shoes that she could beat up on the daily. Shout out my mom. Kicking the ATX. Had to get these for her. Some futures. Uh, you know, something you could beat up. Nothing too special, but definitely a easy to match the shoe. A 
boy John found a pair of shoes too, man. Oh, I came up big time, man. He got me for under retail. These things retail are now, I think, 300 He got me for 280 out the door for tax free weekend. So I had definitely a camp pass out on 700 geodes. Haven't even, I tried them on, man. I haven't even really got the chance to wear them. I'm just, you know, keeping them, keeping them nice, keeping them nice. It's a clean shoe, man. I don't know how I feel about the Yeezy, but. Uh, <laughs> Always make the noise with the box. <laughs> don't make the noise. Hey, that's, how you know it's real. <laughs> that's how you know it's real. That's how you know it's real. Man, I don't know how I feel about the Yeezys, but uh, I do really like that 700. Uh, I like the Wave Runner colorway that just re released or is about to re release upcoming soon. Here are from these 720s. These are the Neon Streak 720s. That's a part of this pack. They had some Vapor Maxes. Some 95s, these 720s, I believe another pair of shoes, if not two other pairs of shoes, and 270s, I know. But uh, these are probably the cleanest ones, if not the Vapor Maxes. So I actually doubled up in these and a 9.5 and a, and a 10, because you know how it is when you don't know exactly which size you want to have. I don't know. I, I go in between 9.5 and, and 10, and never having 720s before, uh, I had to go ahead and get both sizes to the UK. What do you think about Vapor Maxes? Vapor Maxes, I haven't really got into them yet. I've, I've been liking their styles. They have a lot of nice colorways and everything, but I'm really a, I'm the clumsy guy, and I feel like I'll roll my ankle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah these are those uh, Vapor Maxes, the Moon Particle Gray. It's multicolor. In addition to the Moon Particle, it's the utility model of Vapor Max. I also got these at Kicking It ATX. Shout out again to them came through got me laced up for a good while yeah i never had a pair of vapor maxes yet either so i definitely had to give these a try man um looks pretty clean and couldn't pass it up these were on that sale and then these are the 95s from that same pack i was telling y'all about so they all come with this little i guess keychain hang tag whatever you'd like to call it and uh, nike pendant. yeah for real a little nike pendant Put it on the chain, look fly, do whatever you want to do with it. And each of these shoes also featured the sportswear tab. The uh, aglets on these shoes were metal. It's a neat little detail. Always got to pay attention to those details. In addition to the sole colorway, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Uh, I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to keep these shoes because I did actually make another cup from finish line. Let's see right here. It's in this box and a little bit of YouTube magic. I'm gonna unbox this for you in five seconds. Here we go, Air Max 95, have a Nike day. This is why I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these other ones, man. We got these, like an Easter looking colorways, what you were saying, right? About to be Easter. I think they released in like October, I'm not sure exactly. You can go ahead and comment below uh, when they release. Correct me, because I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. But uh, I like the soles a lot on these, man. They're kind of icy. It's like a slight transparent right there on the tongue. So overall, nice shoe. Great details. Uh, the only negative comment I have about this particular shoe is buying it from Finish Line, being a new shoe, seems like this one was tried on or something because you can see that logo i hope it's focusing man it's just not looking right uh let me show y'all the other shoe what do you think about that john i don't know man i told them we should get a new pair you have to swap right. them out i hope they still got them around but that's what it does look like on a clean shoe not tried on whatever you'd like to call it i mean this one didn't even have the paper in it man so you know it's been tried on at the least. One of the other cops John picked up. Asian cop. I don't know. Had to get these bad boys to turn this up a little bit. A little bit more of a major cop compared to these Nikes. But uh, they didn't have them in stores, the so had to get them ordered. Louis Vuitton, Honolulu Mules. Some slides I was talking about. Major slides. Go yeah, on. he's been talking about these and uh. You know how it is. Slide season. Hey, they ain't no two hundred dollar slides, man. Or a thousand dollars. Yeah, he was done with all that. He says so. whatever comes first. Been one of these, man. Definitely been needing to pull them out. Just came in today. 
You just can't miss out, man. Look at these. Check these out. These are every dollar worth it. Louis Vuitton. Designer all day. This, this should be my name. Designer J. <laughs> Designer J. That's it. Jesse Debs and Designer J. Got the Louis Vuitton bags. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm not sure if these were designed by Virgil or not, but man. That shoot you right. I think they might have been. The colorway is honestly sick. Had to have them. Had to have them. Nice padding, too, man. The straps. The LV accent. Yeah, I think the last thing that I didn't talk about that I got would be this headband that covered both the jerseys and the shoes that I got from Finish Line. But this was the last item I got from Finish Line. Just a headband. It's summertime, man. You know what it is. Had to get a little headband. Uh, bring up the cart to 150. I think I got like an extra discount code or more reward points or something like that. So gotta get the discount. Gotta gotta hop on that. Can't forget about these guys. Shout out to Revive Austin. Uh, let me double check on that name. I'm pretty sure I got that right. But one of my favorite shoes of all time is gonna be the Barkley Foam Posits in the Area 72 colorway. This was kind of like an unexpected cop. We went to Lake Lime Mall after we went to the domain where Kicking the ATX was. And uh, they had these there for a steal, man. So you know I had the cop. They had that glow in the dark sole, multicolor inside. Couldn't pass them up. It didn't have the hang tag. That's one thing I didn't even think about till I got back to the house. But they didn't even have the hang tag with them. Uh, but the carbon fiber is in great condition paint's not in bad condition so i did have a hang tag at my house for my old previous pair i had a pair that i beat up uh, so that's why i actually got these yeah man that's about it anything you want to say john uh nah man just hope you like the cops and hope you like you know what we're showing today hopefully you can check out who we shouted out and for sure where we went yeah we went to finish line that's where i got all my online cops champion and stuff like that uh lv store of course at the domain that's where john got his slides uh private stock kicking it atx man that's where i went to for the majority of my cops and then revive austin got me right with those barclays so overall uh i spent basically 785 Plus a little bit of tax and shipping came out to like 805 for a retail worth of $1,932. So I saved basically $1,100 if you want to look at it that way. What did you spend, man? you have any idea? About the same pretty much in the retail aspect of what I spent. Something around like 17 18 19 something like that. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it was about uh, 1800 in total. I don't know, I guess comment below who do you think uh, had the better cop to, uh, I guess. Uh, it's about the same retail value, but like I said, I only had to spend 805 Just comment below, um, tell us, you know, who made the better cop, anything, any input, any questions about where we went, man, just let us know below. And we'll be back at you next time. Peace. Later. Call the stock. Yeah, this is shit. We are in the booth. Hey, it's the craziest shit out here. <laughs>